Hey, so I was sitting down the other day thinking, how could I further torture myself today? Hey, by the way, quick plug, subscribe to my new channel, Leo. On the channel, we do crazy things like adventure every week. And some of the upcoming videos we have is going into VR, hiring a whole go-kart course out and donating to charity and building a whole Lego house. And speaking of high octane TV shows, this seems to be the perfect time to talk about today's sponsor. Raid Shadow Legends has its own animated series, Raid Call of the Arbiter. This limited series is free to watch in-game with new episodes dropping every Thursday at 10am EST until July 20th. It expands the world and lore of Raid, giving more insight to a lot of the champions you are already familiar with, plus new champions, and people are loving it so far. 12 million people in fact have watched the first 6 episodes alone. Being a musician myself, I really appreciate the score of the series, which is the, which is the music. The composer, Jesper Kidd, did not have to go this hard for the trailer. From time immemorial, none have escaped the torment of war. I also like how the series allows for player interactions, like an easter egg hunt for secret codes in each episode, on top of new champions and lore connected to the series. As always, Raid is offering special gifts. By just logging into Raid for 7 days in between now and July 24th, you can receive Artak, one of the 5 new characters from the limited series. Plus, use my link in the description or scan the QR code on screen to get the epic champion Drake. And no, I'm not talking about the Canadian rapper Drake. Although that would be kind of cool. Plus, all these useful items to get you going in-game. Thanks again Raid for sponsoring this video. Nikocado Avocado. Awesome. So I looked at his channel and I realized on the channels page, he had a section that said Nikocado Avocado Shorts. And I was like, oh my god, he had a picture of him in shorts. And it was a shorts channel. I was like, oh, genius. Evil genius. So I clicked on it and I was like, I have to watch every single one of them. There's 151 shorts and I committed to watching it today. I didn't know that I already had watched a couple and even made a video on it. That's how bad the channel was that I repressed my memory from it. Not knowing that I had watched some of this. I didn't watch every single video because that would be absolutely insane. But I am doing that today. So my goal is to not throw up. And if I don't, then you have to subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, then you have to get someone else to sound fair. Look, he's an evil genius. He's very entertaining and I very much find him funny. I think he knows what he's doing. I think he has made a fantastic brand for himself. I applaud anyone who can eat their way to victory. I mean, listen, some people go to college, they work really hard, they get good jobs, and they make some decent money. This man saw noodles and said, I'm gonna eat this so f***ing much that I'm gonna turn from a vegan into a Teletubby. You mean OBCD. And people are gonna watch and love it. And they did. He's a millionaire from eating noodles. I'm in debt from doing that. Amazing. But as much of a genius as he is, he also is very detrimental to himself, other people. You know, the usual that Nikocado does. He's a, He walks that fine line between fit and fat. <laughs> it's not a fine line. He's really, really on one side of it. I'm also going to watch the videos in reverse today because I think at the end of it, you'll see why I'm a little concerned for Nikocado's health. I know I have no right to be and he's like a good jolly person, but I want to spoil it a little bit. At the start of the video, he's 400 pounds. And watching this in reverse so he didn't start at 400 pounds and when you see what weight the videos start at after we watch every short i think you'll be shocked so prepare for that i'm not going to keep you any longer because we have to watch 151 videos so uh bless you for, for joining me today oh by the way just the shorts channel has 500 million views so a lot of people are watching these videos what he does is he takes little parts from his original videos and cuts them into short manic segments and everybody watches them because that's what we watch nikocado for i don't know anybody who actually watches a full nikocado video it's like a porno you watch it for the part you need and you bust out of there pun not intended let's go dancing in my room at 3 a.m shorts that should be good Oh my god. God oh damn. I learned two things in that video. God damn, I didn't know Nick Okada could dance like that. Good 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 on you. The other thing I learned is that this guy got no ass. He he 400 pounds and none of it went to his ass. No butt and all gut. God. Also, why is there a tacky's chips thing there? Is that? Is he dedicating the dance to, to the chip? Is he stripped for the chip? Is what, What's happening? Yeah, I'm not gonna ask questions. We got way too many videos for this. Have you tried this before? Question mark. Mm. 
<laughs> it's, it's a bit of everything. It's mukbang. It's gross. I, I don't like it when people combine weird foods and then, you know, he makes the weird sounds and then also does the weird face effects and you know somebody out there is just like getting off to it. Oh, goodness me. Well, Nikocado, guess what? You made corn disgusting. I'm going to make it disgusting right back. True fact, corn doesn't digest. So it goes out the same way it comes in. That's right. When you poo-poo, it's the same kernels. They never, ever get broken down. What a fact. And that's a tr You can look it up. Don't look. Not in your toilet. Uh, you know what? Whatever. Mm. He looks like his goal was on Shark Week and he, he went in anyway. Sorry. Nice. Yep. Oh. He's gonna. <laughs> oh, he's gonna <laughs> It, it's just a 30-something-year-old man-child. I know he's playing this up for the camera. This is like, you know, when you're a kid and you watch Barney. You know, Barney's like, I love you. And, you know, as a kid, you're like, ah, oh, shit, that's fucking fantastic. I love you, too, you purple bitch-ass dinosaur. Awesome. Then you grow up. Imagine seeing Barney still doing that same shit, being like, ah, oh, damn, my credit card is repossessed. It's not as fun when you grow up. Like, you know, some things are cool when you're a kid. When you're a 30-year-old man just crying, screaming, eating taki has got that red sauce all over your face i don't you look like a joker if his life somehow went even more wrong like have you ever tasted a blue banana i think i heard that in one of them avatar pornos have you ever tasted a blue banana these are blue bananas if i get fifty thousand likes on this video i will open it up. <laughs> it's the shake for me i'm sorry you fell uh 46,000 likes short, just by the way. So whatever you were gonna do, don't do it. Now you guys know I lost 89 pounds on a keto diet. I only eat fats. Yes, oh my. This is too much sugar, but I will cheat for you if I get 50,000 likes. Well, you didn't, so he didn't have to cheat, and then he apparently lost 89 pounds on his diet. So this man was over 500 pounds at some point, which I fail to, you know, believe. But then again, it's Nikocado. I don't know what the hell is true with him. I don't even know if that's his real name at this point. I can't play the song, so I'm gonna listen to this silently, but it's called Kings and Queens, and it's him dancing with tackies in his hand. I mean, I drive through a Burger King. I'm not even kidding. I would go clubbing with this man. I, he's got some weirdly hypnotic dance moves on him. I'm weirdly impressed. That's probably the best description of my interactions with Nikocado Avocado. Can't even touch the crack. Oh, by the way, got to tell you at the start of the video if you're still watching. I have a crazy surprise by the end of the video. I think it's worth the wait. I'm always two steps ahead, which is physically impossible, Nick, but go on. Peasants. I've been tricking you by saying I'm on a weight loss journey by posting old photos from three years ago. <laughs> um, I'm not exactly sure what the man is talking about, but apparently he's been <laughs> fooling people <laughs> into thinking that he's been losing weight by posting old photos of himself, which is just maniacal, but also an evil genius type move. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Whatever you think, um, you know, life is really giving you a hard time. And, uh, you know, maybe school is tough. Maybe your social life is tough. You, you have a girlfriend, boyfriend, partner that you're going through a rough patch with. Or you don't have one, you're lonely. Just remember, this man eats and he makes way more money than us. If that doesn't motivate you, then nothing will. Joe, estoy un paquete. What? Did you call me a fucky? What? What the hell was that? I think I think he's speaking Korean. I don't. Joe is doing um He might be just speaking talkie language. I don't know. Uh, we move on to the next video. I keep gaining weight, and now I don't care anymore. Sounds like me, but all right. Vegetable. Cubano sweet potato. Oh, Jesus. I showed a clip from 2020 and everyone's like, he lost weight. <laughs> Low IQ peasants. Mikado avocado in between eating has to be evil. He's got an OnlyFans. Now I'm fucking horny. You know, is terribly evil day, I'm sure. 
His Twitter, unfortunately, sometimes has pictures that you don't want to see. Uh, I think on a previous video, I... He's eating on like five channels, he's got a shorts channel, and in between, he makes time to uh, f with people. That's just baller, honestly. Peasants! It is a beautiful 85 degrees in Florida. I love this state. I was wondering why nobody ever looks at this man weirdly. It's because he's from Florida. <laughs> He's, he's probably one of the more normal people. I thought riding around in shorts so, so scrunched up, it looks like a G-string and sliders and wearing the American flag was like a bad thing. This is just patriotism in, in his state. Okay. It makes sense. What I eat in a day as a person losing weight who's already skinny and identifying as skinny. Right, so this is the video I think he showed TikTok and everyone was like, wow, you're losing weight. I'm gonna look at the comments here. Receiving health tips from Nick Okado is like receiving shotgun tips from Ronnie McNutt. Well, seems like the people on YouTube don't believe you, but next. Oh. What is he doing? I've never seen feet with hair on it that low before. They look like Sasquatch feet. Why is his toenail so big? Is he trying to cut someone? I'm so sad that this exists. Yeah, I'm not gonna ask questions. We got way too many videos for this. Oh, oh you shirtless! <laughs> no. I wasn't. I wasn't prepared for that reveal, son. <laughs> Yeah, here's a top comment. Nick has quite a raptor claw toenail going on. Yep. Next video. <sighs> Am I unaliving myself for views? Yeah, so Nick Okado Avocado, um, especially in videos like this, a uh, reason I don't like this part about like what he does is because he um, sort of clickbaits his fans into thinking that he's seriously ill. Uh, he has that whole disability saga, I did the, a video on that, where I was kind of disappointed that he used that to garner attention and gain views, because I don't think he needs to do it, but mostly people come to watch him to see the train wreck that is constantly going down. His fans are genuinely concerned about him when he talks about his health and how it's declining so wearing things or looking like you're in danger or in trouble when you're actually not is just very unethical and videos like this are the ones that i just don't like he does it ever ever so often he does go above and beyond what is right next video am i fat He kind of looks like a, a panda if it got skinned, you know? Is that- am I, am I allowed to say that? Nope. He do, if they just gave him some more hair and stuff, he'd be kind of cute, a cute panda if he was rolling around like, Cheese! A bamboo! <laughs> am I fat? Oh, we got a back-to-back. -back. All right. If you close your eyes during this, tell me this man doesn't sound like Thomas the Tank Engine pulling up to your doorstep, giving you Taco no, Bell. No, no. Oh my god, dude, this is... what a wild clip this is. How does Orlin do it? Because Orlin's filming him half the time. Is it the money? Or do you love this man? Do you love seeing him eat, fart, shart? Do all sorts of things are you like that's my man's right there is that is that what you want Orlin? you love this man responding to that vegan teacher you know what you're doing is evil <laughs> you encourage people to pay for cycle of violence because chickens are sentient beings who want to keep their leg oh god yeah, there's times that I don't like Nikocado and there's times when I really do it. This is one of those times. Vegan teacher is also someone I talked about. She's, uh, man, if I had to put her on a scale, I wouldn't. On one side we have her and on the other side we have Nikocado. And my goodness, when he wants to play it cool, he does. The way that he eats the chicken so like, oh, so pettily. Is that even a word? Yeah! I just can't help but like it. That's great, Nick. You take a dub for that one. Oh, and just like that, it's gone. It's short-lived, wasn't it? Do you think he has... I'm sure that someone in his family has kids or something. So he must be an uncle to someone. Oh, what do you want to watch on YouTube? How about Nick Okado? And all the kids are like, Oh, not Uncle Nick. Look at him. He looks like he just ate out the Grinch or something. <laughs> yeah, no, I said it. You look like you ate the Grinch's ass. Welcome to class, everybody, and especially to you, Nick Okado Avocado. Reacting to that vegan teacher. It's sort of the same video, so we can skip this. 
Yeah. Well, that's Nick Akato for you. If this is your first video watching Nick Akato, you're not missing out on anything. That's pretty much him in a nutshell. Crying, mouth open, eats it, mouth back open. Mm. Something's in my ass. I might actually genuinely I have a thought. Ants are small. Do you think that ants think that this man's belly button is the equivalent of what humans think a black hole is? You know, if an ant gets trapped in there, is it like an interstellar for ants? Wow. Disgusting. Disgusting! Oh, here, top comment. I'm going to need therapy after this. Me too. Nick, you're paying. He he makes a lot of money. I just want to stress that this man is balling. And because he's balling, he's buying more food. It's a never-ending cycle. The only people who love this man is the fast food restaurants because he keeps them in business single-handedly. Yeah, no, it's sort of the same video as the last time. He looks like he eating the Grinch's ass. The same video from Olio. What happened to Nikocado Avocado shorts? I mean, okay, I, I know that I'm supposed to be sad and stuff, but realistically, you could, you could put that music over anything. It's just, you put the song over it, it's amazing. I, I know, when I look at him, I'm almost astonished at how he used to look, and I'm astonished that he chose this path in life. But this is not a video for his shorts channel. This is just a quick ploy for people who don't know him to look and be like, oh my god, this dude got fat. And then they go onto his channel and they see exactly how it happened. It's like a commercial for his own business, and he does it very well. He He's sacrificed a lot to get that money. Was it worth it? I don't know. But the Takis will tell. Am I fat? Oh, another one. WTF shorts. Brand new couch just for you, made for up to a thousand pounds. Isn't <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I like to see this battle. I'd like to get a front row seat at the vegan teacher vs. Nikocado. Isn't that great? And you're what, only 400 now? So, yeah, you know, it's gonna be great for many, many more years. She, she really got him with that one, I gotta say. Later. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I feel like this is what happens when you take too many tackies to the head. Your life is going great. You have millions of followers. Everybody loves you. You're always like going on on all of your your channels, and you're. You got <laughs> I think I'd pay for this too to have the vegan teacher narrate Nikocado's life. Like if he did a mukbang and got the vegan teacher to narrate it, I think this would be a new form of content where someone who hates you narrates your videos. <laughs> what is wrong with you people? What is wrong with you sick individuals that you want to watch somebody eat all this junk food? You wouldn't watch- That's an idea. Like the, uh, what's his name? Vegan Gains narrates what I do, and then I could narrate what he does. Dude, we should make that happen. How did I get so fat? Shorts. Yep. And he used to be skinny, but now he's not. You gotta wonder why he made the life decision to do what he does. His choice to do this, nobody forced him to do it. Eating himself away and stuff, all that stuff. I'm sure he could have stopped a long time ago. I think he just likes this. Is it the attention? Is it the ego? Is it YouTube? Is it the money? I don't know. I really can't get to the bottom of it without talking to him. And I'd love to have a conversation with him, genuinely. I mean, he's he's doing it on purpose. And he's made a successful career, so I can't really hate on that. I'm sad that he's such a detriment to his own body and health sometimes, but but like I said, it's, you know, this is a grown 30 year old man, baby. He can make his decisions. Next one. What happened to Nikocado Avocado? He's still at that same ah. beach. Next. How many spicy zombie Takis can I eat? I don't know. How many have you eaten? I've seen at least too many videos of you stuffing your face with that. I don't even know what that is, by the way. Can somebody from America, please, please send me some Takis. P.O. Box down below. Send me some Takis. I'll tr I'll eat it like this man if I have to. If they're that good, I'll, p I'll put my face on them. The next one responding to that vegan 
chicken teacher, and it looks like he's absolutely devouring a chicken. Ah, oh, eating spicy zombie takis. Nick, I'll buy you a hundred packs of that if you do a mukbang with me, a virtual mukbang with me. You and me on either side, and we're talking to each other, and I'll send you a hundred takis, I promise you. Any color you want. Blue, red, green, black. I don't know if they got that, but I'll do it. I'll food color it for you if I have to, bro. Smashing Donald's shorts. No sandwich left behind. Uh, the, most of those are packets, but all right. Is he cosplaying as a rubbish truck? What, what is this? Is this a statement on the food industry? What am I watching? It's really disturbing. Someone please call a psychiatrist. Yeah, that's about right. Mm -hmm. A few moments later. That lady deserves to be fired. She deserves to lose her job. Oh my God, it looks like a pack of M&Ms jizzed on your face, dude. What is, what is happening? Oh, what she, are you doing, man? She, she's, tr she's truly a fascinating specimen of life. I, I don't know why David Attenborough hasn't explored this man yet. Giant flower opens. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that, but top comment. Kids, this is a great example of what not to do with your life. Really, though. Another am I fat? Oh, man, he's really insecure about his weight. Maybe he should do something about that. This is how they should weight test or stress test scooters. They have Nikocado sit and ride them. And if, you know, if the scooters pass, then, then they fit. Next video. <laughs> New Year's be like. I didn't get the joke at all, actually, but I was mesmerized by the fact that this man thinks that basic comedy with him is just, I'm gonna jiggle my weight until someone laughs. He's got the three-year-old mentality of comedy. I have this, I'm funny. Uh, what is this? Shorts. I don't like any of the what is this videos. I'm sorry, I just noticed there was a Taki already in his belly. This wasn't the first take, was it, Nikocado? You know what, F you, Nikocado, when I have a kid, you know, being all crazy, I'll be like, don't play with your food, honey. Why, daddy? And I will take this video out and show her, and she will be scarred for life, and I'll be like, don't ask stupid questions, mini Leo. Thank you, Nikocado, for being an inspiration to what the kids shouldn't be. Top comment? That's enough internet for today. That's about right, yep. Uh. I just have a very, very sad feeling that he could push it further and it wouldn't come back. And it would be like a scientific anomaly as to how Ataki could disappear into a man's belly. Dear fans, leave me alone. This should be good. I'm sick of these peasants taking photos of me like I'm some type of specimen. Leave me alone! <laughs> okay, so, so he doesn't like his fans taking pictures of him. He wants to be left alone in the wild. He's like a Sasquatch. He doesn't want people to actually know he exists. That's why he has a YouTube channel and puts everything on it, as well as OnlyFans and many other things that expose way too many body parts. I understand you. I don't get it, but I understand. Sick of these peasants. Is he going to take the broom out? I think I know this procedure at this point. There's so many homeless people that could have eaten this food is the top comment. And I want to just take a second to say that, like, you know, I've sort of discovered Nikocado's threshold of content is he either eats disgustingly, does something disgusting, hits or throws away food, encouraging people to look at the video and reprimand him, or he shows you pictures of what he used to like look like or what he looks like now. And basically the reason he's doing all of those things to get people who don't know him to come to his channel out of disgust or out of shock and then watch the videos. and. The more shocked they are, the better, because his prime audience is not the ones who watch the videos saying Nick and Kato, you're an inspiration, because I don't know if he has more than three people like that, but he has a legion of people coming to the videos like, oh my god, what are you doing, dude? And he knows his audience, so he's a very smart man for knowing these things, but he's unethically and pretty horribly wasting food and doing anything he can to get people to comment and to get aggravated because that'll stir up more views for YouTube. He's an algorithm god. I mean, there he is with Umpavol doing the gritty. This is great. I feel like his gritty is better than mine. Meanwhile, back in the lowlands. This needs to be an album cover of a 2000s grunge band album. This looks like it really could be pop punk revival art cover. Maybe MGK could use it on one of his albums. I don't know. Oh, there's more of it. 
Here's a video of him doing the gritty by himself. Oh, here's one of him shaking his ass. <laughs> eating spicy cheeseburger. This is not eating spicy cheeseburger. This is not how that starts. Oh, God. Oh, okay. All right, okay. Okay. <laughs> eating wall spiciest noodles. <laughs> All right, Nick. Okay. Uh, man, I realize that Nick Akato is a comedic genius when he wants to be, but the farting on command just, it hurts me. I know that he planned those farts out. Angry violin song. In case you ever, you know, think Nikocado is a talentless hack who just keeps eating food, this man gave away his prime ability to play violin to do this. He thought him being good at music and the career that he had was not as fulfilling as him filling himself with McDonald's, Taco Bell, and every other fast food restaurant under the sun. He is a very, very good violinist. I, I don't get it either. How much food can I eat? I don't know. How many videos can I watch? good that you always eat on the floor that's classic place where mcdonald's belongs on the floor i know you had a table a while ago did you eat it what happened cleaning up my mental breakdown wow thought that was a bit real I, I don't know. I don't have nothing to say. I don't even know how this is a video. It's just a bunch of food. I feel like the people from like the food companies would know that he's in danger if he doesn't order like one lunch. We serve food here, sir. They'll be like, oh, someone has kidnapped him. He's gone missing. If he doesn't order like 700 cheeseburgers for lunch. Where is the cheese? Uh, should I say, where is the cheese? Why does it look like Orlin had a good day when he came home on your... <laughs> mm. This stuff is scarier than the dark web. Does Nikocado just wake up and do whatever? I don't know if that's liberating or like debilitating. Nobody likes me, I'm done. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Where's the cheese? Last time I had a where's the cheese video, he stuffed his face in the pizza, so. At least we have a variation this time. Where's the cheese? Again, I just don't like the where's the cheese videos. And everyone in Walmart doesn't care because this is just normal behavior. I don't even know what he did to the store to make everyone leave. There's nobody in that store. It's like as soon as he came in, they were like, I don't even need groceries. Nikocado, tell me your secrets to filming and nobody else is in the store. How do you do it? When you went to the beach, nobody was there. These are public places that as soon as he enters, people leave. It must be a superpower to be that isolating. What the hell music is this, buddy? Oh, that's the whole video? It's just him screaming as he goes forward slowly? What a piece of content. This is... I don't have a problem with it. Am I fat? Gosh, it must be so tiring constantly waking up needing to perform for people. I don't know if he could just be himself or like how often he needs to make content like this because I seriously doubt Nikocado Avocado is like this. I just don't think so. So he has to put on like a show every single day, even when he's at the grocery store, things like this. Like as, I think as soon as they yell cut, uh, he's like, oh my God, that was absolute. <laughs> I don't like doing it. I don't know, man. It looks more tiring than the eating for me. As always, I'm like depressingly impressed at the level at which he will go to sacrifice his body, dignity, and time to eat crap and then get money for it. It's, it's a system that I can't do, but I, I can watch another man do it. This is good for you, buddy. Good for you. Oh, it's another one. Am I fat? I, <laughs> I thought I was dreaming, but sadly. Next! This channel got half a billion views. That video right there, one million views. Another am I fat? Oh my god. Is you putting all that in a blender, dude? Please don't blend that. Please don't blend. Oh my god. Oh. 
I'm actually gonna throw up, man. That is the most disgusting thing. Oh my god, I'm actually gonna be sick. Meanwhile... <laughs> he's blending, he's blending noodles! Oh, please don't. I, yeah, I cannot take another one. 12 seconds later. And even his titties are frowning. What is this? Oh my god, last time he said, what is this? He put something in his belly. Cool, that's somehow okay. Nikocado playing the violin. It's like the scene in the Titanic when those guys play and the ship is sinking and they know there's no way they're gonna make it. And it's a bittersweet, beautiful moment because you're like, wow, they're going down with the ship. I'm really, really proud of them. But also your pride and ego are getting in the way of you even trying to save yourself. All three members, all of the violinists, that dude. It's the perfect analogy. Next video, the heaviest I've ever weighed. No need to tell me twice, buddy. My numbers correct, my doctor says. I've never seen a snail trail from behind the ass cheeks up to the back before. You climb up! Ah! 403.0 pounds. No! 400 pounds! That's me if I fused with another me and then refused to fuse with more me's. Oh my god, dude. Oh, and my fat number 30,000 millionth. That's wrong, sweetie. I wore the wrong shapes! God, man. Oh. I'm pretty sure he shot it. All right. This one's also called on my fat and I think he's rummaging through a packet. That boy loves his cheese and crop top shirts. He's like Britney Spears. If, if she didn't sing Toxic, she just ate like it. It's another what happened to Nikocado Avocado. Why does he look like he has been slammed with a pizza across the face? I don't know. You tell me. I don't know if I can feel sad for it anymore because this is like the fourth or fifth video where I can see that he's like, you know, pretending to be sad or crying. And in the very next video, he's slurping up Takis like it's their last day on earth. Let's see what the next video is. Let's just for... Oh, it's another what happened to Nikocado. We got a back to back. Let Does this also have pictures of him from the past? Yep, great. Next, am I fat? Oh my God. All right, Nick, what's next on the agenda? Weighing myself on camera. You better tell the truth. Weighing 100.1.2.2. So since we're watching this in reverse, he was 392 at the time of that, and then he moved up to 400. It's really concerning that he's going up that fast in weight. Like I keep saying, it's all fun and games until he's at the point where uh, it becomes a health hazard and it's very soon approaching. So I think it's sad. I want to keep this video light, but it's heavy. It's a very heavy topic. What is this? Every time ever what is this happens, it is the dankest shit. I'm not prepared for this. Ouch! 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 Oh, not the dank... Okay. Not the angry toenail painting. Oh, those are some disgusting ass toes. Ugh. Yeah, no, I'm gonna throw up, man. Please stop. Any, any foot fetish people out there? You like this? You like this? Am I fat? Oh, he's touching his toes again. Oh! Alright, let's do this. Come on, finish. What is this? Another, Another one. one. Oh, it's more. Okay. Oh, dude. That's so disgusting. Next video. What that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Did you hear me fart? Oh no. Actually, I didn't hear him fart. Did you? And my fat, again, he's got lettuce this time, so I believe he's gonna take a dump on it. <laughs> yep, so he does not like green stuff, and I think his body would actually reject a lot of it at this point. So I'm not sure, I'm not a doctor. I just need one. Next video, I have diabetes. <laughs> you can't just scream it out. <laughs> you can't just go and drink, like, be like, mm. gonorrhea. Oh. <laughs> Nick Akato playing the piano. Yeah, I, I can't tell if this is this is genuinely a sad video, judging by the fact he wore the same shirt and he seemingly did was able to play the piano. I, I just find this very sad that he gave up himself to become this, whatever this is. Clearly, somewhere deep down inside, he is himself. And I, I don't mean that as a pun, but really, you'd have to search very deep down beyond the layers of flesh to find who he used to be. Like onions. They stink? Yes. No. But anyway, next video. My scooter crashed. Ah, <laughs> back to it, huh? Back to the grind. So you're not the worst person there, buddy. Next video, Walmart scooter crash. He's, he's still crashing in him. Oh, it's a Target. He said it's a Walmart. He didn't even get that one right. Oh, he just did the same footage. Longo. You know what? You can have this. I'm almost ready to pass out. Okay, next. Cheetos. Alright, another useless video. In between, every now and again we see a clip or two that has some merit or some value, maybe something looking at the past, looking at the future. Then in between that we have fuller episodes, if you will, that really tell us nothing. This really is like a soap opera. My response to Dr. Mike. I just found out that this per this peasant clickbaited my name to bring views to his dying channel. TikToker's nutrition advice. Oh, so let's see what he thinks about my nutritional advice. Probably have to have a dermato dermatologist yeah. chime in here. What did I miss in yeah. this video? Why are we Wait. slapping ourselves with cheese? No, no, trust, trust me, but don't trust. It. He's you right. I miss from your video? You miss nothing, Dr. Mike. You don't need a dermatologist. You need a psychologist and then a psychiatrist for the psychologist and preferably maybe a shotgun for either one. Oh, baby, baby. Oh my god, I've seen the grudge and this is worse. Holy crap, it's evolving. I've learned another thing about Nick Okado. He has the smallest nips I've ever seen. Next video, Walmart Scudo. There he is. Yeah, I'm not gonna fall for this one again. It's just him riding around in a scooter at Target, which he calls a Walmart. I'm not falling for your shitty clickbait. Next video, my fat body short. Good stuff, I hope you frolic in the sand some more. Riding my scooter shorts. I assume this is when he first got his scooter and he started doing scooter practice in scooter school. So very good, Nikocado. I'm glad that you're riding around. You're riding dirty in that scooter. Next video, devastation. Lovely. <laughs> 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 I read the comment for this one. It said, if you turn on the subtitles, <laughs> he's crying, but it says laughter. <laughs> this can't be happening. <laughs> no, this is not the way it's supposed to go. All right, so he says this is not the way it's supposed to go, and we move on to the next video. Addressing my breaking character shorts. This should be good. I made a YouTube video, and I said... I'm two steps ahead. My life on the internet is a big social experiment. And what was the result of making that video? You got your cheeks clapped. What was that? You freaking believed it. You freaking freaked! 
Someone made a TikTok that got 57 million views. I saw another one today, had 13 million views. Nigga Khan, who's played us all, he's an evil genius. Oh my God. I literally typed that out. It's not even real. Does it look like I actually acted out gaining 250 pounds? So uh, this is in regards to a video where Nick Okado said it was just a character. Now he's doubling down. Sorry, instead of doubling down, he's backtracking, I should say. He's like, eh, it's not actually a character. This is the real me. And every time you believe one side of him, he's going to go to the other side. Basically, he's playing chess and checkers at the same time on a Monopoly board. What I'm saying is stay away from that. Just watch him eat. Next video. Am I too fat? That is a sturdy chair. Next video. Oh, God. Yes. Yes, work it, buddy. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, he's standing next to the water and he's dancing and it looks comparable. It's both of that is just water weight. Next one, Alexa calls me fat. I identify as skinny. Oh, please. It's you I literally look like Jabba the Hutt. Alexa, what's the definition of Jabba the Hutt? Jabba the Hutt is usually defined as something very large or bloated, a fat person. You though. Ah! Okay, these two are just, I don't know, man. They're, they're characters. Scooter in the woods. Jeepers, creepers. My doctor said that I need to get exercise in the, in the woods. <laughs> he looks like an evil villain, man. No? <laughs> My doctor said that I need to get exercise. What's next, buddy? Raise that roof. Raise that roof. Ah, uh, this is with that girl, right? Oh, Hungry Fat Chick. That's her name. They're raising the roof together this time. I know you don't. And I don't either. So you guys have to buy my new merch that I just got for Christmas. Okay, that video is just a letdown. They were just plugging their merch. Nancy drops my food and smashes it. This got 12 million views. Ah. Is this is Nancy. This is the guy goal she keep he keeps complaining about. <sighs> Next one, me and a hungry fat chick weigh ourselves on camera. <gasps> Holy shit. So we're going back in time and I'll, I'll talk about that at the end of the video, but he's 360 pounds in this club. We saw him get to 400. That's 40 pounds, 20 kgs. He put on 20 kgs. Goodbye. Oh. No, she's still here with us. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, well, this is just a depressing moment when they're clapping at the weight gain, but if this isn't a portrait of modern America, I don't know what is. Sorry, that just got too deep. Next video. They forgot extra cheese. I'm sending this to the police. I asked for extra cheese, and I had an extra amount of money to pay for this, because y'all keep buying my merch. Yeah, stop buying his merch, then he won't be so able to buy food, and maybe he'll actually have to lose weight. Maybe think about that, guys. Interesting point. Next video, Nick. I lost one pound. Oh my god, the only way you would lose one pound is if you go to England. I lost one pound. I lost one pound. I lost one pound. <laughs> okay. All right, Nick. Okay. It was the ass slap for me. I was depressed, but then you slapped your ass and now I'm impressed. So my scale is lying about my weight. Go on. Hurry up with your lies. Oh my God, this dude has gained 50 pounds since we've watched the videos in reverse. I kind of thought like, this is gonna sound really stupid, but when he gets to a certain weight, you just think that he stays at that weight. He's been gaining weight steadily. Next video. I'm not high enough for this next video. Look at all these disparities. I feel misrepresented. Where's the plus size? How am I supposed to fit into this? Oh. You'd have a better chance of winning the lotto than putting into those. I'm sorry. Next video. I lost, he lost more pounds.
Honestly, with all that dancing he does, I think he would be able to lose that weight and it would be good cardio for him. He's a good dancer. I just wish he would do it more often. I guess I'm only worried because he's getting into the four plus hundred pound range and that's like two people range. So that's a bit scary. But anyway, next video. Uh, screaming at the Walmart manager. This should be good. Cheapers, creepers. This scale only goes up to 300 pounds. Discrimination. This old, not even big enough for one foot. This rusty, busty, dusty, musty, crusty, busty old scale. Did he call it Drake? I say, uh... Rusty, busty, dusty... Did he just say crusty, musty, dusty, du That's what Drake said in Spin About You. So four words when I think about them is crusty, musty, dusty, rusty... Did Drake steal this line? Whoa. I'm speaking to the manager now. Didn't need to see that again. Didn't didn't need to see the spandex ass again. Didn't. Next video. My response to Corey Kenshin. I have a message for all those sheep out there. Those sheep. His mindless, spineless fruit fly of a following. Uneducated, low IQ who think it's cute to put out a false narrative and chop things up to bring me on the tick tick. Okay, well, I don't exactly know. This is an old beef that must be sizzled out by now. Let's just say that Nick Okado had another beef with a person because every time someone brings him up, if, if they're a big enough person, Nick Okado will have some sort of light beef with them so that his channel will get rejuvenated or revamped. He did it with Critical. He did it with Meat Canyon, probably Oompaville, Corey Kenshin, everyone else in between. There's a reason he's not doing it with me is because I'm a small channel still. In Nick Okado's eyes, I'm a mini man. Until I get the big views for him, I'm not going to be there. So hopefully if you subscribe and you can see the effort and dedication I put into torturing myself daily, you know, maybe he'll notice me finally. But again, more on that on the end. Next video, my belly dance at Walmart. Has really good dance. Next. I lost one pound. Man, honestly, dude. Okay. Oh, damn. Damn. Got that move. Yeah. Okay. I tell you, man, that, that, that move where he did the... That was smooth. King of Mukbang, my reaction, shorts. This is for you, Meat Canyon. If I want to go to McDonald's, I can. This is what I think about your video, Meat Canyon. Meat Canyon, back off. It's an old video where he uh, retaliates to Meat Canyon. As I said, he would pick big YouTubers to start fake beefs with so he would uh, gain relevancy on his channel. Nothing new here. Let's move on. My response to that vegan teacher. Mutual beef. Your channel has become boring, extremely cruel, and sick in the head. I was probably vegan longer than you've been vegan. Well, actually, no, you've probably been doing it a long time. Look at you with your black teeth rotten out of your face. Class is in session, vegans. Let's say our ABCs together. Yeah, so I mean, I'm not gonna say much on this beef except that the vegan teacher is wrong about just about everything, including Nick Okado. Didn't even know that he was a vegan. So take this L, hold it, and forever live with it, vegan teacher. Later. What's the next one? Smashing Chick fil A. Can you just take the full A pot out? I mean, smashing chick, I'd be like, oh, okay, good for you, Nick. And he proceeds to beat up some fast food. There's nothing that we haven't seen before. The videos and concepts are the exact same. He's got about four different ideas and apparently primary color shirts, which he seems to like wearing. And he just beats up food, cries, stuffs things in his face, or has fake beef with people. That's about it. Oh, and he's also a dancer who's on the beach. Am I skinny? Be honest. <laughs> Yo. There he is, backing it up to the ocean again. When in doubt, twerk for the ocean. Even the crabs will, you know, applaud, I guess. Can you imagine, like, you know, Bear Grylls is like, Look at this! Oh my god, it's full of protein. It's not good, but I'm gonna have to eat it. Next one, does she make me look skinny? Who? Is it, is Nancy back? Eh, Nancy's back. This has got to be some sexual food thing that's happening here. I'm not really sure what is going on. I broke my shopping scooter. Shoes is Mary Joseph. I wore the wrong shoes and I have a heel spur. Ah. All right, next video. I'm disabled. <laughs> that snail trail is too big, man. I'm disabled. I deserve some help. 
Well, that's not how you push a trolley. If you've been doing that all your life, maybe you do need some help. I don't know. I, I could never understand what the hell is going on. But this is him playing Squid Game on violin. <laughs> and yes, there is a triangle above his tummy. Amazing that in between his daily, nightly, and every other worldly habit of eating food 24-7, he had time to not only learn the squid game on violin, he played it really well. His talent never fails to impress me. It's just everything else that is always getting in the way. Am I fat? Oh, we're revisiting a classic. Lovely. I identify as skinny. If you're skinny like me and you want this merch, go to itsjustwaterweight.com and buy one. That's a KFC bucket, don't lie to me, that's not much. Next, I ordered Mr. Beast food. Is he, is he gonna beat it up again? There it is. There it is, yeah. Classic food raging. I don't know if this is some sort of like therapeutic way of saying you did this to me and he beats up the food. Maybe I'm delving too deep into the psychology of Nikocado Avocado. Maybe it's a door that leads to a brick wall and I'm just hitting myself on it. I don't know. What I do know is that it's 3 a.m. and I'm watching a fat man beat up food. So I'm the person who needs therapy. Next video. The doctor says I'm skinny. I just went to the dermatologist. And the dermatologist says, oh, you're skinny. It looks so nice. What you do for your skin? I say, I drink a lot of water. So all you haters, there's proof from a doctor that my skin is hydrated. If I was really that fat, could I do this? He's got a point. I don't think people can do that if they're fat. You gotta be skinny to do that one. This is a good move, dude. I believe you're skinny now. I'm sure that's how you convince the dermatologist as well. Next video, they forgot to add the cheese. Oh, he's taking the broom and he beats it up again. A classic. This is how all of his videos used to start off with. I don't know why anybody would watch this and everyone in the comments is just saying how much, you know, is wasting food. So I guess besides having the shock factor, there's no point to these videos. Next one. This is his most popular video. He plays one of the Squid Game songs, Pink Soldiers. And it's really good. In fact, the comment, top comment says, this is better than him crying over nothing and killing himself. This is actually extremely impressive. Very impressive, Nick. Very impressive. Next video. I'm skinny. Oh, this is the exact same video from before. He's just rehashing content. Next video. They forgot the extra cheese. Oh my god, he's just rehashing content. Next video. I don't fit on the Walmart scooter. Alright, well there's one more video. And this is where it all starts. Take a deep breath, close your eyes, open them. We've got one more. Let's watch it. I keep gaining weight. What an app title to start this channel off. My clothes keep shrinking without my consent. It's your fault. Oh, because I'm having to do these videos. I'm almost 350 pounds and I don't know why. So he's under 350 pounds and you can see it. His shirts are not crop tops yet. He's not a big, big boy yet. He's a big boy, but he's not a huge boy. <laughs> 350 pounds and that is the last video we've watched every single video on his channel every single short can you believe that because we did it each video he gained a third of a pound because by the end of it he had gained 50 pounds we watched this in reverse but if you watch it forward it's a guy going from 350 pounds to 400 pounds and this is only shorts videos there's probably been so many things in between that have happened i can only imagine the amount of stress that his body is going through and while i thought this was an issue at first that i could look past and think oh he's just a funny guy stole i don't know where it stops and i 
I don't know at what weight is too much because we saw the video of Hungry Fat Chick and she could barely get on the scale. I gotta be honest, I care about this man somewhat, enough to tell him that he should be able to foot on a scale without having someone help him onto it. So I hope he, he has a limit, I hope he can stop at some point. As entertaining as he is and as good as the money is, Nikocado, you have to ask yourself, is this worth it? Do you think he really ever looks back his videos from past and thinks this is who I want to be? Maybe he doesn't want to be a super skinny person. That's completely fine. Nothing wrong with having a little weight. It's only when you get to a stage where you can't actually function in everyday society that other people tend to care about you. And the fact is he's using this for views and clickbait. So I don't know when he's gonna realize that maybe this is not the right path. So I just watched 150 videos of a man eating himself to a slow decline. I wasted way too much of my life. It's 3 a.m. I don't know why I'm up. Remember how I said at the end of the video though, I had a little surprise for you? Well. You're gonna have to wait until the next video to explore it, but Nikocado Avocado, uh, he saw my story on Instagram and he messaged, I have contact with Nikocado Avocado. That's all I'm saying. Hopefully we get to do a mukbang together. I hope you join me on the next video. I'll elaborate on it a little more. Sorry to, sorry to do that to you, but I'll see you on the next video. Please take care of yourselves. And if you didn't throw up, you got a strong stomach. Ooh. I hate Takis. Bye. Don't forget to use my Raid Shadow Legends link in the description or scan my QR code to get insane bonuses for new players with an epic champion.